Hey y'all, it's almost 12.30 on Wednesday, September 4th. We are on our way to see our midwife. My husband is driving, I am not filming and driving. Um, and I did have a non-stress test yesterday. It, technically everything looked fine. And part of the reason I really didn't wanna do non-stress tests leading up to this point was just because I knew I would stress myself out. And even though everything's technically fine, of course I stressed myself out, um, even though the heartbeat is technically good and the variability is good and there's jumps in the heart rate when the baby's moving the baseline was low and i know babies are allowed to have a low baseline heart rate but it's still stressing me out and so um, i know some people have suggested like oh why don't you get an ultrasound why don't you do some other things like ultimately it's not going to help me make my decision like i just don't think mentally i can stay pregnant and feel comfortable like i'm just having way too much anxiety um i feel like i'm crying every day um about ridiculous things like this morning um, at 3 30 in the morning I was like writing a letter to my four-year-old in case I die in childbirth like sobbing the entire time which it's like the, I we need to do something we need to move forward um, so we're gonna go chat with our midwife um, things that are on the table right now uh, would be castor oil which you know I've talked about I'm not really thrilled about that idea possibly breaking my water and then there's also an option called a cervical ripening balloon or a cook's catheter where um, she would inflate a balloon with sterile water inside my cervix and one outside of my cervix to put pressure on my cervix to help it dilate and I think that might be where we start so keep you guys posted and let you know because no amount of evening primrose oil dates raspberry leaf tea intercourse walking bouncing on a birth ball nothing seems to be getting me past that three centimeter 50 percent effaced mark so we'll keep you posted just kidding I'm still pregnant so uh, yesterday we went in and I did ask for a cooks which they had planned on having one for me and they had ordered them and apparently they had not come in yet so instead we decided to do a membrane sweep um, I was four centimeters so that was a change and they said um, my cervix was a lot softer uh, but the baby's head had gone higher up in my pelvis and maybe you did not know your baby can undrop that's definitely a thing sometimes your baby drops and their head is not in an ideal position for labor and it comes floats back out and readjusts so um, I did wake up in the middle of the night with uh, painful contractions for a few hours they petered out uh, this morning I called in to ask to see if the cook's catheters had arrived and they said no now they're not supposed to get in until tomorrow and I was like that's not really I we need to do something so um, I'm going in now for another membrane sweep this will be membrane sweep number seven eight I think number eight um, but if my cervix dilated at all from yesterday the cook's catheter wouldn't have done any good anyways because it just gets you to about five centimeters so unfortunately or fortunately but unfortunately my midwife has two other moms in labor right now at the birth center and so she really can't leave to come to a home birth um she said she'd be happy to you know induce me if um or break my water do whatever if i was willing to be at the birth center and i really don't want to be i'd really prefer to be at home so we're going in we're doing another membrane sweep um if i don't go into labor hopefully she could break my water tomorrow We'll see, but that's one of those things that happens sometimes. You set up an induction and it gets bumped. I've definitely had to bump moms before um, and nobody is ever happy to hear like, oh, hey, sorry, someone else came in in labor or I have someone who's like really sick and has preeclampsia and needs to be induced. You're going to have to wait. Like that happens literally all of the time in labor and delivery and you just, you got to roll with the punches. So I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, so I am four centimeters, 70% thinned out. The midwife said she felt like the baby's head was low again. And so um, the plan right now is she just swept my membranes again. And holy cow, uh, is it different this time? Um, we just had to stop at the grocery store on the way home. And I'm having some really painful contractions. So hopefully that's all it takes. Um, she offered to either come over tonight or tomorrow morning to break my water. And I said, let's just do it tomorrow morning. Um, and hopefully I can attempt to sleep. But if I have to call her in the meantime, uh, because I'm in labor, that would be wonderful. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll keep you guys posted.